Hello friends and welcome to lecture number 5 on simulation of ethyl benzene process. In this video, we will simulate the second reactor of this process. This reactor converts the diethyl benzene to ethyl benzene. Now, let's get back to the article design and control of ethyl benzene process which has been considered for this tutorial. Going to the flow sheet, we find that in the second reactor, a diethyl benzene stream comes in as a recycle and the stream from the outlet of the first reactor, of the outlet of the first reactor, comes in into the second reactor. So diethyl benzene enters the reactor from two streams. One is the recycle and second is the outlet of the first reactor. The condition maintained in reactor 2 is 432 Kelvin and the pressure is 19 atmospheres. What does this reactor exactly do? Whatever diethyl benzene that comes from the outlet stream of reactor number 1 is converted fully into ethyl benzene. Mind you, a constant recycle of diethyl benzene is maintained in this reactor and this is 282.2 kmol an hour. We take it as that value though it is 282 point into 0.999 but for sake of brevity that value has been taken. So only the diethyl benzene that comes out from the first reactor is converted fully into the second reactor. So let's go ahead and simulate it. So let's double click the reactor out. What we have is that the ortho diethyl benzene coming out from the first reactor is 81.2808 and we shall make a note of this value. So let's copy this out and put it on a notepad. Now, let's introduce the second reactor on the simulation flow sheet. So we go to reactors and we take fixed conversion reactor and we put it and we assign the reaction package. Now, we have to draw a recycle stream. So, this is the recycle stream coming from the second distillation column or the recycle stream that enters the second reactor. So, let's take it as recycle DEB. It has a pressure of 19 atmospheres or 20 atmospheres and it has a temperature of 407 Kelvin that is the bottom of the distillation column so that's 407 Kelvin and for now we assume that it is entirely containing orthodiethyl benzene And the flow rate is 282.2. So we can take it up as 282.2 into 0.999 and that's 281.9178. So fine, let's take it as 282. The simulator will adjust these values later on. Now this recycle steam joins the reactor 1 outlet. So we need a mixer for that. So let us place a mixer. So mixer, let's take it, select and place it before this reactor. And let's shift this reactor. Now the outlet from the mixer goes to the fixed conversion reactor number 2. 
So I give it the name of fixed conversion reactor number two. This recycle stream enters the mixer. So to bend this stream, I can put a root point here, add root point, and then we join it. So this is inlet number two, and we take the reactor one outlet as inlet number one. And let's call this mixer two. Now we draw the outlet steam of the fixed conversion reactor. So this is reactor two. to inlet and steam number 13 is renamed as reactor 2 out. Now let's go ahead and configure the reactor. So double click it click on edit. The reactor operates at 432 Kelvin. Let's cross check that. So yes, 432 Kelvin. And it's asking for a pressure drop. So the pressure drop, we'll put it up later. I'll show you how. Now let's add the reaction. So the reaction that occurs here is reaction number three, where all the diethyl benzene is converted to ethyl benzene. So the extent of this reaction will be this value that is 81.2808. Now this value 81.2808 is in kilo mole per hour. We have to convert it into moles per second. So 81.2808 multiplied by 1000 divided by 3600 that's 22.578 so that's 22.578 and we are done Now double click the reactor once again and this time we convert the units of pressure drop as atmosphere and the pressure drop across the reactor is going to be one atmosphere because the reactor operates at 19 atmospheres. We have put all the values. Now let's run the simulation. On running the simulation we find then the outlet diethyl benzene is 282.2, which is indeed the diethyl benzene coming out from the recycle stream. So we have successfully simulated reactor number two. What do we find? We find that the reactor two outlet contains a little amount of ethylene. The rest is benzene. Then we have Ethyl benzene, which is 630.4698, which is nothing but the conversion of ethyl benzene fully. And then we have the diethyl benzene, which is only the recycled amount. Okay. So this was all about how do we simulate the reactor number two. Next, we will look into how do we add a distillation column or a separator that would separate out benzene from the reactor to outlet and recycle it back. So keep watching and have a great day. Goodbye.